Hey fam, it's Friday, so you know what that means. I've got a new combo for you that's going to help you take all of those tricks that you have been playing around with and figure out how to put the pieces together in order to be able to do combos and flow with them. Yeah? So, let's dive in to what that's going to look like. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, teaching you poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain during the COVID-19 quarantine. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that without screwing up the words. And today we are putting together a whole bunch of pieces to help teach you how to flow with them. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. Yowza. So, once again, we are inside my apartment because for the third week running, the weather has not been cooperating. But the good news is, is that this is another one of those combos that you can do inside of a small space. And I'm just really hoping that we don't get any rain next Friday so that I can actually do this outside for once. That'd be really nice. Now, unlike last week, I have made absolutely no attempt whatsoever to make sure that I'm putting something in here from each and every week of tutorials that I've been doing. Partially because uh, that is quite a big challenge and partially because I wind up missing a lot of stuff in the process and there's things that I want to go back and give to you all to have you use them in a real environment and, you know, uh, be able to integrate them into your flow and everything. And the more things that I skip, the less likely that is to happen. So, this week's combo is going to require you to know the following tricks. First up, you're going to need to know how to do thread the needle. You are also going to need to know how to do your shunne turns in together opposite from our week of poi dancing. Uh, you're also going to need to know how to do your waist straps as well as your uh, four beat fountain and everything. You're going to need to know how to do your stalls, both your down stalls as well as your up stalls. And you are going to have to remember how to do your flowers and pendulums in split time opposites. Finally, you're going to want to have your tuck turns under your belt because I'm just that much a glutton for punishment. So I'll go ahead and link to tutorials for all of these different tricks down in the description so that uh, you can catch up on anything that you don't already know. All right, so let's dive in. So we're going to want to start over to stage left. And the reason is, is because this combo moves back and forth. Um, I kind of felt like there wasn't enough dancing in uh, last week's combo, so I'm trying to make up for it now. Sorry. Anyways, uh, you're going to start this off by just doing thread the needle once, twice, and three times before letting those poi swing out into pendulums. And this is going to be our setup for our first bit of dance. Okay, so once we've gotten to these pendulums, we're basically going to do something that's going to be kind of like the inverse of the uh, shunne steps that we're used to. Instead of forward step, back step, it's going to be the opposite. It is going to be back step, forward step. That is, I am stepping behind myself with my left foot and then around forwards with my right foot to get me over to stage right. What's going on with the poise? We're doing that. I'm so glad you asked. So once we get to these pendulums, we're sweeping our poi past our hips, going both ways. So it's really just together opposite pendulums going past our hips once and twice before we get over to stage right. So you got to stage right, and it was beautiful. Now we're going to switch into our waist wraps. This is the same transition we played around with last week. So for those of you out there who absolutely hated having to do that transition, I am sorry, but here we are again. Um, basically, it comes out of this same kind of idea where we have our pendulums, and you have the option with each hand as to whether you're going to add energy to it to bring it over your shoulder, or whether you're just going to continue to let it slide down in a pendulum. Basically, as we're doing this here, you're going to add energy to your left hand and let your right hand just kind of drop. And that's going to take us into split time, same direction to get to our three beat weave. Now, you're going to take a waist strap that goes a full 360 degrees, but you're going to do it as a shunne step. This time around, it's going to be, you're going to step forward on the right and back on the left, going back to stage left. So, after we did our pendulums, we go into our forward three beat weave and we go around in a shunne with our waist strap. This means that as we're turning from our forwards weave to our reverse weave, we think forward right, back left, and that takes us around. Uh, the turn initiates as you are going over to your reverse weave. 
Um, basically, you want to think that you're switching from forwards to reverse as you're stepping with your right foot and from reverse to forwards as you're stepping back with your left foot. That will carry you over to stage left. So altogether, that looks like this. We got out of our pendulums and boom, into our forwards three beat weave. We take our waist wrap around and we now have our weaves over to stage left. Yeah? Fabulous. Now, our next move is that we are going to take our weave and we're gonna turn it into our four beat fountain that we all know and love so much. We are gonna do this twice and then come out of it, install both of our poi around down over to the side, yeah? We're not over yet because we have to use that upstall that we just learned this past week. So I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna have it swing around and do an upstall right next to my right hand. It's only my left hand doing the upstall here. And you should get that nice, crisp vertical line between the two poi here with your left hand poi pointing up and your right hand poi pointing down. Now, our next move is we're gonna play around with something that we have not touched in weeks. Ooh, exciting. So from here, the natural thing is to let our left hand go down and our right hand go up. If they do that, coming from the same point, hey, guess what? That takes us into split time opposites, yes. So think that your right has to go up and your left down and you're gonna give me split time opposites flowers at first with petals off to each side. Then you're going to switch them into extensions before dropping them into pendulums. So the progression is from that stall, we go flower, 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 extension, extension, pendulum, pendulum, yeah? So we're basically going through all three driving styles that I taught in week two of my tutorials. And of course, when we get to our pendulums here, I wanna cap it off by when the poi meet together over to your right-hand side, you drop them into tuck turns once and twice, and you do the stall and give the blue steel look that people have been giving me crap for on the internet for weeks now, yes? Guess what? You don't get to escape it, wahaha. All right, so the whole thing from the top. We do thread the needle once, twice, and on the third time, boom, we take our shun I step around with our pendulums, we do our three beat weave, we waist wrap back around to the left hand side, we go into our four by four fountain once, twice, and then the third time we stall both of our poi, left hand comes around to stall up, we do split opposites flowers once, twice, extension once, twice, and pendulums once, twice, before dropping into our tuck turns, bring them to a stop, give me blue steel. All right, let's check that out in slow motion. balls. So hopefully you have some fun with this and it gets you moving around and everything. Uh, pretty pleased. There's nothing that makes me happier than seeing videos of other people doing the things that I am teaching out there in the world. So please post those videos to both Instagram and Facebook. I am Drex Factor. Please tag me on Instagram and Drex Factor Poi on Facebook. Also, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can discover these tutorials and bring the love of flow arts into to their lives, especially now that we are all negotiating this bizarre time in history when we're locked up inside and we need things to keep us stimulated in both body and brain. Poi is a perfect fit for that, so help me get the word out there, yeah? And if you are enjoying these lessons, if they are bringing a little bit of sunshine into your world, unlike the weather that is so not cooperating with me right now, uh, then pretty please uh, sign up to support this work over on Patreon, like these nice folks did. Um, Patreon is what is allowing me to be able to pay my rent and put food on the table and not have to stress about money at a time when so many other people are. I am so grateful to have it and I'm so grateful for all the people that are supporting me on the platform right now. So if you have the means, and I totally understand if you don't, 
But if you do, please consider signing up to support me over at patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi. You'll get early access to all of my content, as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus which some great behind the scenes content and some other bonuses. So go and check that out, please and thank you. Awesome friends, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you have a lovely weekend and uh, that you are healthy and well and your family is as well. Um, I will be back on Monday with more tutorials for you, so uh, check that out.